Hi there, this is Ricky from the Locale team. Today I'm here to show you how easy it is to get started with the localization of your Laravel projects. First of all, log in into our Locale dashboard and create our first project. Once the project is created, we just have to complete these four simple steps in order to start translating. First of all, install our package into your application. Open your terminal and paste this command. And now the package is installed in your application. The package is going to read your translation files and synchronize the translations with Locale using our internal API. This is the only purpose of the package, so don't worry, we're not going to read all the other code of your application. Okay, the next step is to put your API token in your environment file. So copy your token, go to your MBA file, paste it in here, and then add locale as a service in your config services PHP file. So I just copy this, go to your services file, and at the end, you can paste it in here. And finally, execute this command in order to set up your application. Write yes. And it's done. If we go back to Locale, we see that we got redirected to the index page. And now the project is set up. And we can access the settings menu, add some teammates, modify our translations, or go to the translation view. In order to show how to work with Locale, we're going to take as an example a restaurant application. Here we can see in the navigation we have four languages, currently only the English, and Spanish menu is translated, so for example Italian is still not translated in French as well. In order to translate these strings, we can go to our Locale application and press Command F and type languages. Here we can see that Italian nor French have any translation set up, so for example let's put the French translation in here and save it. Then go to your application and type PHP Artisan Locale Sync. Type yes, and then we can see that one translation was modified, so we head to our restaurant application and refresh. We see that the French translation is now applied here. 